Thousands of Northeast Ohioans drive by them each and every day. Often they almost go unnoticed because the abandoned factories have been there so long they become part of the landscape. Leon Bibb is live in Cleveland now with this week's segment of My Ohio. Indeed I am reporting outside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but this story I'm going to tell you about is about a couple of local photographers who see a beauty and an art in the deterioration of abandoned factories. Let me show you what I mean. A relic in silent testimony as to what was. A surviving fragment of Cleveland's manufacturing industry of a day gone by. A day in so distant a history that nature's heavy-handed reclamation of a factory is evident. A northeast Ohio wind whistles ghost-like through the abandoned, mostly forgotten factory. Yeah, yeah. But there are other sounds as well. Voices of the present surveying remnants of the past. It changes with varying light and stuff, so you always get different shots. In Cleveland's Cedar Avenue, East 55th Street area, is the now rickety factory building, which once was a manufacturing giant. Dead now, fallen brick and masonry, but holding a memory. In this brick graveyard are two photographers, too young to have seen the factory's heyday. In this rubble, they find a raw beauty, which they capture with their cameras. In the ugliness of deterioration of what was man-made, they find a strange beauty as nature slowly takes back the land. And it just becomes even more and more beautiful as nature just slowly wins. So I like to keep that in my portfolio so when you see a place like this being taken over by nature, something that we built, you know, everything that we built, it doesn't last forever. Ryan Tankersley and Johnny Yo are photographers who crawl through abandoned and decrepit places to take pictures. They search for an abstract beauty in the way abandoned buildings slowly die. You know, you have this big dead factory, but you still have, of course, the life that passes through. The life is the story that was, and the humans who have called themselves to tell it. These 24-year-old Northeast Ohio photographers can be sentimental at times, picture postcard stuff on one hand, but raw and edgy on the other. Wherever they see a beauty, we are reminded beauty has always been in the eye of the beholder. So they make the art exhibit circuit, showcasing and selling their artwork. You judge, bad or strangely breathtaking. Throughout the region, Yo and Tankersley train their cameras on forgotten corners. A closed movie theater, an old house, a factory, an abandoned medical facility, a trolley car graveyard, a thrown away dentist's office. I mean, it was just weird because all the stuff's still there, you know, all the, um, the mouthpieces and the sedatives, anything like that, that they might have had there, it was all just kind of sitting there untouched. One photo shoot in an abandoned building, Yo and Tankersley looked down the barrel of policemen's pistols. There'd been a nearby crime with a suspect hiding out. Policemen saw movement in an abandoned building. It was Yo and Tankersley. Cops came in, guns drawn. They assumed that, I'm assuming they assumed we were that person. So hiding out in, in the old yeah. building. So that when they came in with the force, they probably thought we were armed and dangerous when all we're armed with is our cameras. Photography is about light and shadow and shape. These young men work in the shadows of what was through their art and technique, bringing it all out into the light. They find a beauty here in what was, a beauty here in what they do. Camera carrying storytellers, knowing abandoned places once held human life, advising us to look around and notice where our history is or was. They, all this history is just sitting here. Nature, the earth, everything is just slowly going to keep revolving and win in the end. We're only here for so long. Passerbys often do not see what was once a community's lifeblood. Trains no longer stop for the loading and unloading of material here. The abandoned factories sit like ghosts from a different time, but stories are still in them. So too is the wind whistling through, accented by the clicks of photographers' camera shutters, capturing remnants of the past, finding art for the present. 
I'll tell you that some of the photographs of the young men have been published in the book Empty Spaces by Johnny Yo. The photographs have worked in abandoned malls, schools, churches, and houses. Let's go back inside.